Welcome into the Carolina Kitchen. Brandy Crawford is back with us. Thanks so much for being here. Yes. And this already smells fantastic. You can tell it's straight out of the oven. What are we making? Well, this is a pineapple bread pudding, but I must tell you, if you're on a diet, today's the day to break it. Okay. Because it's not a low-fat <laughs> recipe by any means. First of all, we're going to take uh, two sticks of butter that have been softened. I've already creamed that. And I'm going to add one and a half cups of sugar. So we're going to let that go until it's nice and fluffy. Okay. And again, you can probably tone down the fat content with a uh, low fat kind of items, but Why do you if you're going to do it, <laughs> do it big time. And all we're going to do is we're going to add some heavy whipping cream. It's about a cup and it goes everywhere. So be careful. And just two eggs. And a lot of people might shy away from bread pudding, just the thought of it. And you think of that as being a fancy dessert. I know I do, but this is something that you have these ingredients right in your home. It's easy and it make a big impression. And also a lot of people, when you have this one, it's great as a side dish, like on a holiday or with ham or anything like that. So a side dish or dessert. And explain to people how this is different than like an upside down cake. Well, the upside down cake is more of a cake consistency. Okay. This is nothing but bread. And you can see here, you can use regular, um, just a sandwich loaf, about 12 slices, okay. or you can use a French loaf. I like using a French loaf. And you just cut it, and all you're doing is making little cubes. So now that I have the cubes in a bowl, and this is about three quarters of a, of a loaf of the French loaf. Does so, it matter if it's fresh or if it's a little on the stale no, side? No, it doesn't. Okay. And actually, I'll let this sit out just a little bit just to help it get a little bit more stale, but I don't think it really makes that big of a difference. So we're going to take this very fattening <laughs> thing right here. Delicious, the That's right. deliciousness. That's right. And we're going to add the pineapple juice. It's just two cans and you can just drain it just like that with the lid. And then you're going to dump the pineapple in. And these are pineapple chunks. Okay. And 100% juice. 100% juice. Okay. Dump it in there. And just stir that around just a little bit. And then all you're going to do is take it. It's easy. Yeah, it's real easy. It's real easy. It's really good, hot out of the oven. And again, it's a side dish or dessert, whatever you choose to do. And you're going to take it and just toss it real gently because you don't want that bread to break up and just be all mushy. That's it. You're going to dump it right in a 9 by 13. And you don't even have that pan greased. It just no. goes right in. Well, there's so much butter already in it, you don't <laughs> so even don't need, need to. It. So, And that's really it. You're going to put it on a th uh, in an oven about 350, about 45 minutes. You want it, it's not going to get really brown, um, but you're going to take it just a little bit brown. And there you have the finished product right over there. It smells so good. I bet that is amazing with ham. Uh, it's fantastic with ham. You always think of that and sweet potatoes and ham and all those fun little sides. But it, again, it's a side or dessert. Just a fabulous little side dish. All right, let's get you guys the recipe. Go to our website, WLOS.com. Click on the Carolina Kitchen link. That is the fastest way. Or you can send a self-addressed stamped envelope to 110 Technology Drive, Asheville 28803. A pineapple bread pudding. Look at that. Doesn't that look great? I wish you guys at home could smell it. It smells so good. And that's what's cooking today in the Carolina Kitchen.